In this video, we'll bounce the equation AgNO3 plus ZnI2, silver nitrate plus zinc iodide. Let's count the atoms up on both sides of the equation. We have one silver, and this nitrate, it's going to stay together in the chemical reaction. It doesn't break apart. So we have a nitrate here, and then we have nitrates over here. So because it doesn't break apart, we can just call it one item. We have one NO3, one zinc, two of these iodine atoms. On the product side, one silver, two nitrate NO3 ions, one zinc, and one iodide. Why don't we balance the iodides first? We could put a two in front of the AGI. That means we'd have one iodine atom times the two. That would give us two iodines. Those are balanced, but the two applies to everything. So the one silver times the two, we have two silvers. Let's fix our silvers. If we put a two, in front of the AgNO3, that should balance the silvers and it might balance the nitrates too. We have one times two for the silvers, so those are balanced. Two applies to everything, so the one nitrate times the two, that'll give us two of those, and this equation is balanced. So when we count the nitrate, because we have this NO3 here and here, we can count it as one item. That makes the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AgNO3 plus ZNI2. Thanks for watching.